Hello and welcome to another Diablo 4 leveling guide for the release of Diablo 4 on the Mola P channel. My name is Kaz Mol and today we are talking about the Sorcerer aka the Sork. Now before we begin a few things. Keep in mind that this is all based on the information we got from the server slam session. I have been leveling all the characters up to level 20. I have been doing a lot of theory crafting and this is solely for leveling purposes. Can you do the leveling without a guide? Absolutely, you don't need this at all. And this is really just to give you an idea if you're looking for a build or you want to follow something, but this is really just a guide. It's not something where I tell you, you have to do this. This is the only way to play it. No, not at all. This is just to give you an idea, give you some guidance and maybe come up with your own builds because Diablo is, or Diablo 4 in that regard, is actually super easy to do. So don't miss out to come up with your own builds. With that said, this guide is solely for leveling purposes. The idea is that you're reaching level 1 to level 50, where the end game starts the quickest way. This is not for end game, this is not for farming routes, like none of that. Also, very important, this is not built around certain items you need. All my builds are designed to just function in themselves and even if they are getting nerfed, let's say with the release patch or something else is coming up, most of the builds will still work because it is like the general build which makes this whole construct function. It is not that there is an ability which is super OP which makes this build work. That's not what I'm doing. And just to put that out there, if people are wondering how I actually put this build together. So you don't need items, you don't need anything broken, and it will get you to level 50 in no time. With that said, please don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Diablo 4 content. We have a weekly podcast here on the channel. We are doing much, much more content than just builds. I'm also doing some live streams, focusing on PvP. So if you love Diablo 4, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So enough chit chat, let's talk about the build. The build is down below in the video description. If you just need a link and you don't really want to listen to this, just click on that link and you can just follow the build. You might wondering, wait a minute Mo, there are two builds down there. What the hell is going on? Well, the reason for that is the build itself has basically two different paths. The first one, is up to level 20, which you can see here. And then at level 20, you are switching over to another build because a lot of the abilities I'm giving you and which are uh, the core abilities of this build will not be unlocked before level 20. So what you're doing is pretty simple. You are putting some points in Firebolt, the Enhanced Firebolt and the Glinting Firebolt to get some damage on your left click. And this is what you will utilize quite a bit when you are on a mana downtime. And your main skill will be Chain Lightning. Yes, I know Chain Lightning got nerfed quite a bit, but it is still a really, really good beginner spell. It is really good without equipment and get the enhanced Chain Lightning for increased critical strike chance per bounce. And also if the Chain Lightning bounces off you, it next hit deals 10% increased damage. Uh, this is really good against boss fights. Get that, super helpful, and will carry you till level 20. Then you will also get a point in ice armor and enhanced ice armor. Uh, ice armor is very nice to survive, plus the mana regeneration will help you out in a pinch. Plus, then later on you get the Hydra, rank one, you get the Enhanced Hydra and the Summoned Hydra. Hydra is always good. Like, yes, Hydra got nerfed. I know a lot of people will point this out, but please don't forget, Hydra is good because it is Hydra. It's a just activate and forget spell. You put the Hydra down and you just leave it to its own devices. You have nothing else to do afterwards. So grab that thing. Then when you finally reach Firewall and you can also get the two skills, that's when you reach level 20. And this is when you will actually respec into the actual build. 
Keep in mind, this build was also designed without having to grind for like the extra points. This is why you see that there are still nine points remaining, because I assume that you will at least get one extra points by just doing some of the um, main quest and also maybe do some events or something in that territory and then you will get an extra point. But you can totally get all the points for this build by just naturally reach level 50 without having to get the special points. So what do you get here? Well, you put five points in Firebolt, then the Enhanced Firebolt, which you have to get, and then Glinting Firebolt, which gives you critical strikes with Firebolt increase the burning damage you deal to the enemy by 20% for four seconds. Super helpful burning damage, don't underestimate it. And you want to look for crit. If you can get crit on your items, nice to have. Very important, nice to have, not mandatory. But this will be your most shit. I'm out of mana. I have a lot of downtime. Let's use the Firebolt ability. There's nothing here. We, we don't care for this. Sorry. Uh, let, let's talk about the defense abilities here. We have Flame Shield, which, to keep in mind, only put points in this area so that you can reach the Conjuring area. You don't have to fill out those points immediately. You can do this over time whenever you don't really have any of the core abilities. You really just put points in here to go down there. Like, you don't have to put in five points here into the ice armor. You put one point in ice armor and then you get the enhanced ice armor and you are good. The same goes with the flame shield. You take the flame shield to go down and then if you have some free points and some downtimes in your talent point, this is where you're starting to put some points into the enhanced flame shield and the shimmering flame shield. They're not must-haves. After that, you put your points in Hydra, Enhanced Hydra and Summoned Hydra. This is one of your core abilities and very important for you. Yes, even though it got nerfed, we already talked about that. And you put as many points in here to go down to the actual important core ability and that is Firewall. You want Firewall. That's around level 20. You put a point in firewall, you put a point in enhanced firewall, a mage's firewall, and then you put all the points in here. You want that. Then you can also still put some points in Hydra because they are your main abilities. And then when you are reaching the ultimate section, you are going for Inferno, Prime Inferno, and Supreme Inferno. And then you are starting to put your points in Fiery Search, Endless Pyre, and Warmth till you reach this. The moment you unlock, like every time you're unlocking a new category, you're basically putting your points in there and you get combustion. Your burning effects deal 2% increased damage per unique source of burning you have applied to the enemy. If the enemy is burning from three or more sources, this bonus is doubled. That is doable. Keep in mind, the firewall is a unique burn. The Hydra does the unique burn. And last but not least, your Firebolt does. And there's a pretty high chance that you can get them up most of the time. Because you put down the Hydra, you put down the Firewall till you're running out of mana, and then you are basically just using Firebolt till you have enough mana to put down the Firewall again. And the rest of the passives, you always grab passives when you have all the core abilities. The passes are nice to have, but not must-haves. So get the abilities first, get the improvements of the abilities, then you can start to level up the core abilities. And then you are getting the passives. And the idea is that you get quite a bit of mana, you also heal yourself and you increase the burn damage. That's what you were doing here, right? And you try to stay healthy because it will increase your damage by 9% when you were healthy. And also it increases the critical strike damage against burning enemies, so you want to get crit. But I have already tried a similar build in the Vader and also in the Server Slam test. 
and it worked pretty well. Like fire, even though it got already nerfed a little bit, is still very, very strong. The moment you are starting to get some equipment, which increasing your stats, fire is becoming pretty devastating. And thanks to the healing you can gain, right? Like, you also can stay pretty healthy. And you have two oh shit buttons with the ice armor and the flame shield where you can bite yourself some time. And most of the time, everything is dead. And this build just works solo. If you're in the group, this build gets even better because most of the time you stand behind, you're putting down your firewalls and a lot of enemies would just stand in those firewalls ignoring you. But the cool thing about the build is that you can just run around. You put the Hydra down, you put the firewall down and you're running through your firewalls while the enemy is trying to hit you and they are just slowly burning to cinders. And you can tank even like a lot of the bosses with the perks. Like fire has a lot of survivability, but also does a lot of damage. Yes, it takes a little bit longer because the burning damage will take a little bit longer to kill the enemy, but it doesn't really matter. Like this has been worked pretty well. And I am very confident that this will also work when the release happens. So TLDR, get the abilities, which will make you move down the talent tree get one level of them and then later on put more levels into them till you when you when you are finished with the enhancements and then slowly get all the passives on the tree with that said please don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you found this guide helpful if you still have some questions some ideas let me know down below in the comments don't be a dick about it, please and with that said I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Bye-bye.